An insufferable Karen made fun of my little sister at the gym and made her cry. The gym staff had something to say about it. My little sister is 16 years old and has been extremely insecure about how she looks her entire life. She is very skinny and faces bullying in school because of this with kids putting her fingers around her wrists, nicknaming her skeleton, and so on. My heart breaks for her as no kid should have to go through that. My sister also has thyroid issues which makes it a lot harder for her to gain weight than most people and she naturally has a super low appetite. My sister and I are extremely close and I've done my best to help her out with her image. I have recently managed to convince her to eat more and she is doing great. She is still very skinny but she has gained 2 kilograms in a month and I am very proud of her. I have also fought long and hard in order to try to get her in the gym, something she really wanted to do, but due to her insecurity and the negative aura surrounding gym culture, she was always afraid to do so and thought she would get judged. I tried to persuade her many times telling her I would come with her and finally I managed to get her to join me for her very first gym session. When we got to the gym my sister seemed very shy, but she also seemed kind of excited, and as expected, she wanted to hit her legs and I obliged. I tried teaching her how to squat and she was very adept at it, even managing to throw on some weight on each end of the barbell and rep it for 8 for 3 sets. I was extremely proud of her and let her know this, and this seemed to boost her confidence a lot. We then moved on to the leg press, a machine she looked quite scared of, but I reassured her, telling her that she was not nearly as fragile as she thought and she could boss this machine if she put her mind to it. She seemed up for it. I began teaching her how to perform the movement safely and then I got her to try it for herself. Once again she took two say quickly, and I let her know that she was absolutely crushing her first day at the gym and she seemed very pleased with herself. She even asked to grab some food after well, as she was on her second set of leg presses, a woman who looked in her 40s walked over. She had a stereotypical Karen haircut and definitely wore her face. She just looked angry. She asked me how many sets we had left and I told her that we had one set left each. The Karen then told us to hurry up, which kind of left me astounded, but I brushed it off. She stood close by and shared with us the entire time, but my sister didn't seem to notice her. It was only during my sister's last set that the Karen made herself known to my sister. If only I had known how cruel and heartless this woman could be, I would have either moved to a different machine as soon as she approached or reported her to the gym staff, but I had no way of knowing. Well, Karen literally tapped my sister's shoulder mid-freaking set, causing my sister to get startled and re-racked awake. I looked at Karen and asked her what the F she was doing and asked her if she had any manners. Karen then told me to watch my tone and proceeded to tell my sister. I couldn't help but notice how skinny your arms and legs are, dear. You're doing the exercise all wrong too. You'll never become non-skeleton like with little tiny weights like this. Here, let me show you. And she proceeded to try to yank my sister out of the machine and started changing the weight. I interrupted her and dragged her arm back, telling her not to touch my sister, who was very pale by this point. I told Karen to leave right now before I reported her and she told me. What? I'm just trying to help. Look how skinny this girl is. She could use some advice. My sister started crying at this point and I told her to leave us the F alone. A gym staff member happened to be walking by and Karen, seemingly offended by the fact I swore at her, proceeded to go over and complain about me to the staff member. The staff member walked over to see my sister crying and me calming her down and I explained my point of view. Karen tried to interrupt and she argued her version, claiming I verbally ridiculed her, made her feel extremely uncomfortable, and called her a fat whale. Although had I said this it would not have been wrong. I did not say that. Not once did I comment about her weight. The two different stories led to the staff member having to check the cameras and her harassment was clearly put on display. Even without the ability to make out what she said, it was very clear that she had invaded my sister's personal space and made her feel very insecure and uncomfortable. After enough pressing by the staff member, Karen also admitted to making fun of my sister's weight. Karen's membership was revoked that same day in front of me. My sister also came back to the gym just a few days later. She didn't let a negative experience affect her efforts and I'm very proud of her.